we are immune. Actually, epidemics do not discriminate. Anyone can be infected. But what should schizophrenics know about COVID-19? Well, in times of fear and distress and worry and uncertainty, stress increases, which can provoke negative and unsettled responses. Uh, I know that in the last few weeks, my general anxiety level threshold, the threshold where when the anxiety gets up enough that I have a physiological anxiety response, uh, that's, that threshold is like lowered, so it's easier to get to that <sighs> uh, anxiety response. And uh, um, rationally, I am into facts, not fear. I don't think in Canada where I am uh, that I have a big chance of getting infected. But all around, people are hoarding and emptying the grocery shelves. And in general, general panic. It's not like a panic attack, anxiety symptom for these people. They're otherwise normal, but they're having panic reactions. And uh, um, Health Canada does say Canada is at a low risk still. And uh, I hope that the intensity of the measures of social distancing and closures of businesses is effective at, 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 at flattening that curve of incidents of infection. I think that, yeah, I think the intensity of the reaction is hopefully warranted and will hopefully flatten that curve, like I said. And then... Um, we're left with the panic symptoms and the panic symptoms of hoarding and uh, emptying grocery shelves and just like um, uh, the uh, xenophobia and racism that's happening worldwide. Uh, these things are counterproductive and disrupt uh, society even further than the pandemic measures response measures. Uh, so, yeah, um, some people around the world think they're immune to infection. And that's kind of where I started this video off as a response to my question. Uh, what should schizophrenics know about COVID-19? We're immune. No, we're not. No one is immune. <laughs> well, maybe some people are immune, but like, not necessarily anyone for any reason. <laughs> it's just, it's totally indiscriminate who can be hit. And uh, having a belief or having a, a denial of the risk isn't enough to stop it from having an effect on the whole globe. So that's what schizophrenics should know about COVID-19. Thanks for listening. Peace and be well.